Um, Cardiff has a very strong and long-standing Sudanese community, and I've had many concerns raised by constituents who are also deeply worried about uh, friends and relatives who they're unable to contact because of the uh, cutting off of the internet and communications. And as the two inter former international development secretaries said, unfortunately, this is part of the course for the Sudanese military and security forces, both in terms of cutting off information but also brutal um, tactics used against civilians. Could she say, um, given what she said about Unimid, what other methods she thinks there can be to verify what on earth has gone on? Because I've heard horrific stories from, from individuals. Are we talking about the involvement of the ICRC or other independent human rights monitors if Unimid and other forces are not going to be in Khartoum and elsewhere? And secondly, what message does she have for countries that continue to provide the Sudanese military and security forces with direct assistance, given their horrific record of abuse of civilians? Well, to the, to the latter point, uh, we believe it's important to uh, raise those concerns with uh, relevant countries at the earliest possible opportunity, and I can assure the Honourable Gentleman that we will be uh, doing that. Um, with regard to the documentation, the closing down of the internet, I think uh, the Honourable Gentleman makes some very sensible suggestions of the ways in which we must try and ensure that we continue to uh, be able to hold people to account for their actions, and um, I look forward to updating the House in future about the actions we've taken in that area.